Hello, and welcome back to Monster Hunter Rise slash Sunbreak. I finally finished the last little bit of important-ish Rise content. Finally got past Volstrax. I haven't done any of the Apexes, especially outside of Rampage quests, but I don't want to do Rampage quests, so... I'm gonna be doing Sunbreak now. Probably till I stop playing the game. Maybe I'll do an Apex quest eventually, but for now, it's making my way through Master Rank 5. Which has Rajang, Basil, Luna is an Ogre, Gormagalus Regius. I'm probably gonna do Rajang. It shouldn't be too bad. The real question is what other ones I want to do. Because I want Rajang because... I mean, I'm using the high rank Rajang pants, or leggings, whatever they're called. So swapping uh, these with critical boost 2, latent power 1, 2 tier 1 gems for... 3 tier 1 gems, 2 critical, 1 latent two flint free would be pretty good and I need one hard claw for that See you soon. I'm pretty sure he doesn't give elder dragon blood I'm pretty confident but he does give hard claws what is the little square or the two squares I don't know. But yeah, I need to get... So I should try to capture it if I want the hard claws? I mean, target rewards 22%. So target reward and capture rewards can both trigger if I capture it. And broken part presumably means breaking the arms, because I don't think you can. You can't break the feet. So you need to try to break the arms, which can only happen when it's not in Super Saiyan mode. And then there's a part here that I haven't broken in Mass Rank because I've only hunted. I think I've only hunted. Wait. What? Yeah, I can't check what rank I hunted them on. Yeah, that's what I'll hunt. Uh, I've hunted one with sword and shield. I've hunted one with... Lance is rough. I think if I can do sword and shield, I should maybe be fine with... Switch axe, but sword and shield's probably safer. Switching to... Uh, fire is probably not the right choice. Yeah, fire is resisted. Ice would be decent. It'd be good for the head. But blast is solid. It's a little bit lower tier. Only rarity 8, but... I'll see if I can... I mean, Elem Elembane doesn't apply to blast. I think. But I'm gonna check real quick. See if I- yeah, I can't. No upgrade for that yet. Maybe it gets upgraded by Basil Goose. Probably not. Cause I bet there's a Basil Goose one down below. I still haven't seen a Magnamalo. It's Teostra. Which might not be bad. If I eventually get a Teos, like, Master Rank Teostra, maybe that's the one I'll use? Anyway. I'm gonna hunt. I will bring followers, because it's simpler. The Rondine has... Longsword, Switch Axe, Insect Glaive. Interesting differences. 
Hinoa has hunting horn, light bow gun, and bow. Minoto has hunting horn lance. Utsushi has hunting horn, and well, I think he has everything. Yeah, he does. He has an offensive hunting horn. I know Minoto's. I know nothing about Hinoa's. I know this one's defensive. Oh, I guess healing sun. Maybe it's a healing based hunting horn. But I'd rather bring this because it's kind of aesthetically fitting. Fearing fits well. I don't know. Makes sense to explore this way. Should be fine. No, they're not that important. I mean, if I get- if I accidentally get hit by a laser, I probably want thunder resist. Wait, the sticks they were using there were- they have different colored sticks! Is it... Do they use the bright green sticks when you use the hopping skewers? That w That's kind of neat, if that's what it is. Or if it's just random, that's fun too. I just noticed that it wasn't the bright green ones. Very interesting. Oh wait, no, I want to start using... Wait, I can change my radial menu now. Okay, um, this needs to change to that, this needs to change to that, the craft is down still, yeah, the rest is fine, I can set up the rest however I want, but then I want to clear this if possible. What I can do is set the the right side to crafting. So mega potions need max potions need mandragora and catalyst. So I need to craft catalyst, which are just bitter bugs and honey. Might as well set them to all. I don't know if there's any reason not to. There might be. I mean, I can only craft two max potions at a time, so it doesn't really matter, but... Now I have that set up. Let's set this to... I shouldn't set it to use a max potion, because then I'll accidentally use it a lot. I should just get better, I guess. Just get good. I don't think I actually switched to my item set, though. I also should update um, item loadouts. Register radio menu, yes. Load this. But then I would need to... Okay, so that's the correct radial menu. Okay. So out we go. I don't need to grab all that. I really should stop. Okay, so it's rushing time. Uh, this might actually be worse with a bunch of people. I don't know. Or with a bunch of followers. I mean, Rajang's kind of... Normal Rajang's kind of relaxed. I just need to actually be careful. He's definitely not... the most dangerous. I'll, saying that, I will cart because he'll two-shot me, but... 
not sharp enough. Wow, you're a wet stone wet you've got there. Wait, do I have a Vade Extender? I should have at least a little. Oh, oh yeah, do I know this is not the one that I have quick sheath equipped on. Yep, that's fine. I can roll between his legs. See, I get hit twice because I'm bad, but... Nope. And I'm dead because I got cocky. Where's that good? Could it be beneficial to get grabbed by that in order to get him into that follow-up punch animation if you had actual people playing with you? I feel like I need to check my setup though. I feel like I should have more of extender on this than I do. Because this was a setup for the Switch Axe, which had a Vade extender on the axe. And with that being on the axe, I need to face the correct direction. Nope, wrong direction. Too late. Yeah, with the Evade Extender on the Switch Axe, I don't need as much on the actual gear, so I need to adjust for that. Okay, just give me... I'm in the wrong location. Maybe I should just attack his face. His tail's kind of awkward to target with the sword and shield. Thanks for the support. Oh. It's the yeah, I think face is probably the better target. He's gonna charge through this wall, for all I know. Nice feline wyvern blast. Some good aim. Also, that aim doesn't make any sense. Because the feline wyvern blast is shot by the palico, but it's at a downwards angle. Weird. Yeah, I mean, it is a fairly relaxed hunt when it's not your first hunt of the day. Oh, I guess we're going down there. I mean,. We are, but he didn't know that. Okay. That hitbox is awkward. I'm kind of glad that a while ago I increased the speed of the camera, though. Because without the increased camera speed, this might actually be a little more awkward. Because it does dash around a lot. And to break his arms, I think. Okay, that should have probably hit me, honestly. Big smash. Could I try to knock him out, maybe? Yeah, I figured that's what would happen, but I kind of want to see. It's kind of interesting to see. Okay. 
Okay. Nope. Actually, I can focus his arms until he roars again. Go to sleep. Uh, go for the horns. Eat a little. Sharpen. I'm gonna go for the easy... Uh, just... This. Mostly because... It's simple. Oh, what is he doing? Oh! He hit the grab, apparently. Okay, and she can't wyvern bug recovery. Okay. Big roar. Now I focus the tail. Okay, camera. Oh. I mean, oh, I actually want to see this. Because I'm pretty sure he breaks out of this trap, right? Or not? Yeah. Oh, he doesn't. Oh, I guess that's the world version that's way cooler. That's a shame. Thanks for the support. It's targeting you. Okay, I shouldn't recover that that quickly. If I try to wyvern recovery that, it's an issue. Leaving. Yeah. Okay, I, I really. I was gonna try to adjust the dead zone. I think that's part of the issue with using the radial menu. Or why it feels so bad sometimes. I don't know the way out here. Oh, wait, no, it's not a way out. It's just he's in a different zone despite being on the same elevation. I should sharpen again. Not quite sharp Just keep it fully protective polished. And then that. Actually, I should try to metsu that. There might have been an item on the ground from his horn break when I exploded him. I'm not sure. But it also disappeared really quickly. I guess I thought I saw it and then I thought it didn't. It wasn't visible anymore. So it might have been a palico picking it up? Okay, that's a 180. Okay, I want to focus left arm or right arm. I need to focus one of them. If I want to break the arms. I'm not, also not sure if the arms are breakable in this form. I assume they are, but... Sucks to be you. What a follower line to say. Just... Just... I should also be using... This, occasionally. To gap close, instead of just rolling. Bad idea. I'm glad it let me roll under, but bad idea. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot. Then <laughs> they get absolutely slammed. I think going for KO is probably not optimal. That might be dangerous, actually. Bad idea. That's why it's dangerous. 
put him in the air for so long that it can easily get me in trouble. Oh, and then he dashes. Oh, that was kind of unlucky. Again, just a bad idea more than unlucky, but... Well, that was pretty good. I just want to get the bigger wasp. <laughs> and the, for the support. Oh, the feline wyvern blast, or whatever it's called. It's so funny. Oh. That's actually better than bouncing. Okay, I, I did hit the wyvern blast once. I guess X or Y and B for the explosion. Let me hit that. Okay, now back to the arms. Don't let it get away. Honestly, if I want to hunt this again. If I want to hunt Rajang again, I should probably consider Switch Axe. Because it might be better for breaking the arms. I don't know if the arms can be... Like, I don't know if the Mind's Eye... I don't know enough about Mind's Eye. I don't know how it applies in sword form. Whether Rajang's arms still take, I don't know, durability damage. Or if it's unbreakable when in... The enhanced form. What? Why was it in a rush to get over here? Oh, Wyvern. Ride. And then only belly flop because it's not yellow. Or it's not enraged. Let me just get out of here. I also don't know if Blast does damage to... Why'd you fight it over there, though, and not where we are? I guess I'll just wait till it gets knocked over. Hard Fang. Just, I can't fight this, because keep, I'll keep getting knocked around. Another Hard Fang. Now go knock over. Now I can work with this for a minute. Not for long. Uh, that was something. I wasn't looking because I was focused elsewhere. die. Oh. Kind of want to ride this so that I can sharpen real quick. Probably shouldn't worry about sharpening, but I just want to sharpen. there into a dash. That attack is odd. It's fine, it's just odd. Nope. And I got lucky I didn't get body slam there. Some humans could learn from you. That's good enough. The body slam. Hey, it's bad. Oh, 
Pretty good rotation on that. I wonder if it's the case that if you specifically want to break... Uh, assuming the arms are what I need to break. Bad. Yep. But if you specifically want to break arms, it might be better to... Just sort of ignore it when it's in rage form. If it if the rage goes away over time instead of going away by getting attacked, which it probably doesn't. That was lucky. It always leaves right when it loses the rage. I kind of wish it didn't, because I'd rather just fight it. Echo. Okay. One of his arms must be close to breaking now. Belly flop. Oh. He got hit by something which triggered a different, a quicker stand-up. Just, I need to break some arms, which is kind of a messed up concept. Okay, just let me... Okay, that is a broken arm, good. And that boat might be both broken? That's worth getting hit. Now I just need to get the tail. No items on the ground, right? Yeah, good. Okay. Oh, that was not... That was too far to the right. I got the wrong angle. That was bad. He's gonna... Oh, he didn't go for the... Rear attack. Oop. I also haven't broken his second horn. Instant explosion on the arm. Oh, it, okay, it was correctly timed. Good. That was weird. It looked like I got pushed to the side by the fist, but I didn't take any damage. Yeah, figures. I should set up my switch skills differently. I should set a side switch skill for uh, the destroyer oil instead of just having the um, Metsu counter set up for everything. Because I don't think the Metsu counter is really the best always. Like, here it's not the most useful in my mind. I want to break the horn. Like, I could just Metsu counter for damage while standing under his face, but... Still hasn't broken the tail. Bad idea. Oh, cool! The bounce up there, uh... Didn't... I guess go fight... Oh no, I want to fight the Pyre Kadaki. I want to see how the Pyre Kadaki's um, Wyvern Ride goes. But... That dash... Lo the knock-up from the... Um, wire bug skill... 
that I used. Oh no, I'll go the other way. Turn around, please. Turn around, please. Wrong turn. No, it's leaving. I'll just follow it. But the jump up when I hit the Rajang didn't get count cancelled by the um, roar, which is useful to know. Big explosion there. Okay, I'm assuming it's going to be basically normal rock Nakadaki. I mean, that was a light attack. Okay. Just, just give me the strong attack. I mean, that's kind of a weak strong attack. Okay, I guess if you hit it well enough, it's pretty okay. It's actually a pretty bad strong attack. It didn't afflict burn quickly, in this scenario at least. Good aim. And it broke apart. That's always good. I'm stuck. I can't see what's happening. I'm trying to... I'm trying to perfect rush, but... No, that's not doable. I can't perfect rush that. Okay, I need to focus tail. The hitbox on that is... A lot wider than it looks, or not really wide. So can I capture it? I thought maybe it's immune to the electro traps. Let's just see if it works. Okay, so... Cool. Hopefully I get the components I need. Well, I'm not gonna get them all, because I don't have the... I don't have the necessary Elder Dragon blood, but that can come from... Maybe the Gormagala hunt can get me one? Some skills. So Zenogre armor on him for sure. Wild pelts, bone, hard fang. Hard claw, good. Okay, a lot of hard claws, that's good. Yeah, both arms broken gave me two hard claws. Wonderful. They plundered a stinger from a, bana a, from a banahabra. Yeah, good warm up. Pretty slow. Request complete. Someone wants to talk. Motion. New. Bombardier. So now I need to tr do fighter, I think. I don't think I have a fighter one. Did I set it for fighter? Uh, yeah, I set it for fighter. I don't know the best fighter ones. I know I know I like power drum though. That's furious. So rousing roar, furious, power drum. So healing bubble. Fleet Foot Feet. Fleet Foot Feet might not be bad, but I think I'd rather have Shock Prison. Sure. Let's go with Joel. Then I can swap it over to the side. But then here I could... Swap Support Moves if I wanted to. I need to unlock these other ones, but... I can swap this for... 
I don't know what the best one is. Probably healing bubble. Maybe this is good for breaking parts. Mega Boomerang. Actually, but that might also help cut. Yeah, let's leave it at Mega Boomerang for now. I need to check. I think I have a side quest. That needs me to... Unlock more... Potential. Get three buddies to a skill memory of eight. Yeah. But that's buddy skill lesson. I need eight master rank rachnoids in lava caverns to be able to swap the level 10 support moves. But I need to swap who I'm using. Bringing Joel with me. Give Joel element attack. Not that he's actually going to have any gear. Um, sure. Doesn't really matter. Because he's just here for clearing this. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like supportive Palicos... Well, no. the Maybe fighter Palicos do good damage. I don't know. Yeah, all I need is... Two more pure elder, pure dragon blood, not elder dragon blood, but I think you only get it from elder dragons. Really don't like that. Not that I like the helmet I'm using now, but I really need to replace this helmet. The issue is it's a, it's still a good helmet. I have nothing to craft. I have more monsters to hunt. It's to so it's Basil Goose, Lunagarin Zenogre, or Gormagalus Regios. Uh, Gormagala is probably kind of slow. I mean, I've already hunted both of those in Master Rank, so I probably should hunt the Basil Goose because... So I should see what her hunting horn type is. But I should hunt a... Basil Goose. Um, wanted him with a bow. Just to see how it goes. To have better shooting, but not hyper-aggressive. But a Basil Goose... I think I have to hunt a Master Rank to have, like the armor show up on the list. Sinister Demon, why do I have that? I guess I hunted a Magnamalo in a follower quest. Okay. Kezu. <laughs> I really like that. I like those types of masks. They're always funny. But, okay. Basil Goose. Probably don't want Sword and Shield. But Sword and Shield's pretty quick. But I kind of want to try Switch Axe. But let's see what Basil Goose is weak to. It is weak to... I mean, it's not weak to Dragon. But it... That Switch Axe has pretty good raw. And, like, good raw is... Good. Yeah, it's not really elementally weak. Yeah, equipment I'm sitting at... Yeah, I only had a Vade Extender 1 because of my equipment. I kind of want to use this because I want to practice more Switch Axe. Because Switch Axe is cool. Yeah.
So I need to get my decorations. I need to make sure that... Oh yeah, because I, I would have swapped the tenderizer for an evade extender with the switch, uh, sword and shield. That's what I would have swapped. But instead, now I have this. This is fine. I think I need the rampage, though. Okay. I need to actually update my items, but... Bongo. I'm kind of sad they don't sing in this version. Not that the singing is that important, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, Hopping Skewer does change it to green. I skip it anyway, but they don't sing in this version. Which is just kind of a shame. Oh, wrong one. I'm going to overwrite this as the default. And then I can swap the loadout too when I feel like it. I just feel like the default one... I feel like the default one having that is probably for the best. Again. It's all kind of interesting though. The whole follower quest system. How the follower um oh, what are they called? Follower surveys became totally irrelevant once one of the title updates was released. I believe it was a title update where you can take followers on every single quest so you're not just restricted to those initial few. I don't like Basil Goose. Or at least I don't like Basil Goose in world. In high rank world. Maybe mass rank's better. I don't know. Because the roar is... It just roars so much. And I think Roaring is the most obnoxious mechanic. It's a necessary mechanic a lot of the time, but it's just annoying. And I think the Switch Axe is going to be a little bit better than a Sword and Shield for this. Because there's a lot of High vertical attacks. I do love the obnoxious explosions. I do really like that as a mechanic. Oh. It's annoying, for sure. But it, it's part of the character of the monster, and I like that. Oh, free health regen. Sick. Gonna get hit. Oh, I, I dodged in time, apparently. Uh, what I should be doing is putting this away. Well, that's different. That's not a Monster Hunter world move. At least not high rank. You just explode, please. I don't want to sit there where it's gonna explode on me. Oh, she gives attack and defense up? And health regen? Why is she so effective? Why is she so good at the hunting horn? She gives HP regen. She gives everything you need. Everything you could ever want. All in one place. Okay, it's gonna explode. I just need to not get exploded. I'm not doing a good job of using sword mode, but... oh. That's... I kind of want to... I kind of want to complain about that attack hitting. This is what I hate about Basil Goose. When it just roars repeatedly.
Can I reach it from here? No more holding back. Not quite. Do you have any items? Yeah, I, don't, I don't know. Okay. That's fine. Do I have regen? I do have regen. Be careful. Run. I mean, the Vedic Center is so nice on Switch Axe. I can't imagine not having it anymore. Yeah. I mean, this is so much better than trying to hunt a basal goose with a sword and shield, though. Excuse me. Like, only being able to hit the tail when it's low, only being able to... Only really being able to consistently attack the legs in a different game, though. This game has a lot of stuff that would help you attack it with wire bugs. I missed. No, wrong button. It worked out fine. Oh, I also need to swap. No, wrong. I, I'm forgetting basic combos. Wrong direction, but it worked. Is this dive bomb? It is. Nope, wrong input. Wait, do I not have catalysts in my storage? I should have catalysts in this inventory setup, but I don't. That wasn't that dangerous. They said something bad's gonna happen, but then it was fairly tame. Good tail move. This is what I hate about Basil Goose. He just roars repeatedly sometimes. And I know why he roared repeatedly, because he he triggered one roar, and then after triggering the roar, he after triggering the roar, he face changed to the enhanced form. But it's still really obnoxious. Okay, weird. I just didn't have time to react after I got hit by the first, but that's weird. Why do I have two attack defense boosts? Like, they're not both from her, are they? Okay. She's also not applying the regen. Good hit, or acceptable hit. Terrible sword gauge. Like, I'm not getting amped at all, because I'm doing a terrible job of making use of that. I'd rather get hit there to regen the evades, or the wire bugs, so that I can do this. Oh, great gaming. Great jump off.
And I'm about to get Rodat. That's fine. I should have grabbed that red bug. I didn't know it was there. I should learn that. Basil Goose, Basil Goose, Basil Goose. I don't know if that's the correct pronunciation. Okay, wrong pa Whatever, it's fine. It should be fine. I should just be able to go around the corner. I like the... I like Basil Goose being called a bagel. I enjoy that. Oh, free damage. And I missed all but one, and I'm not going to go for more. And then the roar. Okay, give me something to work with. Tail cut, wonderful. So you think the tail cut on Basil Goose sometimes causes it to drop scales? Like just as it walks? I don't know if this is the best time to do this, but... Big explosion. 510. And I still have this sharpen, so it's good. I bet the legs are breakable. Miss click. I'm gonna get bombed. Yep. Okay, stop rolling. I don't know what the optimal combo is. Move. Okay, it thumped into the ground, that's good to know. Some humans could learn from you. Not quite quick enough. I just dive bomb. Okay, the wings don't do damage, that's good to know. Wait, I need to be using this for the free charge. Well, that light step back as part of the double slash was really helpful. And you get a good hit. And it leaves. Great timing. But I have a tail to cut. So, thank you. Basil seems pretty easy, at least with the switch axe, because you can actually you can actually hit it consistently, which is pretty helpful. Being able to actually hit the monster. Definitely not doing the correct combos and whatnot, but like the tail cut was pretty quick. Wonderful, got the headshot. And I got this. Maybe I should focus the legs, I don't know. Did it go to sleep? It went to sleep. I have no idea what the best uh, wake up is. I assume it's a sword mode attack, but it could be the... Ready to detonate. Like, it absolutely could just be the direct axe swing. That's just this. 
for all I know, that could be the best choice. This is actually kind of ideal. Fighting it when it's facing into a wall is really good. Because if it's facing into a wall, and it does its tail attacks where it normally steps forward, it can't step forward. That's great. Oh, I guess I'll get this Izuchi. That was good. That was a really easy hunt, honestly. I think I have the combos all wrong, but... Well, I think in this particular hunt, I don't think the axe mode combos were wrong. Because, like, this into this for tail cuts seems good. Like, vertical into that. I don't know how to... Yeah, it's not that. I don't know how to get the vertical. Like, this into that... Like this combo makes sense to me. We can always expect the best out of you, Ace. Not that I did that. I was only able to get two hits in a row anyway, so it doesn't need to be able to infinitely loop high attacks, but nothing noteworthy, probably. 14 minutes. I'm very happy with that. Now it's an urgent quest. I wonder what it's gonna be. I assume it's gonna be an Elder Dragon, but. Here we're acting strange. They've lost their food stores. I mean, the other researchers figured it was only a matter of time before they'd all die out. Yet they're so fluttering. No knights report anything. Have you noticed anything? Nothing. Yeah. Studying here for a long time now. Maybe I'm like those twins from the from the village. I just resonate with them now, I guess. The only thing you resonate with is my nerves. You won't owe an apology to his friend. Anyway, spit it out now. What's strange? They're getting excited. Sure, they're slowly weakening, but they seem happy, like they're like children that were praised by their parents. Tentative hypothesis, but I'm not going to say yet. Don't want to confuse things. You probably should just say it, but whatever. We'll wait until you're ready to report. We may be in a precarious situation. It seems stay alert. Is there no urgent quest? There's definitely going to be an urgent quest, right? I should just make those resistor jewels. I should just make them. So that I can remove it and stop having it remind me. Making three because that's all I'll ever need. I'll never need more than... He's not there anymore, good. I'll never need more than three of those, so I might as well make them. And I want to do the lottery, because supposedly the lottery can get you pale extract and max potions. That's not bad. And it's real quick. I received an urgent message. Shagaru Magala. Never hunted that. Oh, uh, is Shigaru Magala is like a different variant of Gormagala? Like Gormagala is like a cursed version or something? I don't know. I can't. Re I read about it in random stuff, but Hinoa is the best hunting horn, I think. Let's bring Furin. Do I want to play this safely or do I want to try to use the switch axe still? I, let's see what Gormagala is weak to. Where is Gormagala? Gormagala is weak to dragon, sort of, but not really. Uh, I'm just gonna go for it. Using the lance for every new hunt is kind of boring. So like, oh yeah, I wanted to check. Yeah, I don't have the catalyst, so I should be 
Actually, do I need to? So each max potion uses catalysts and mandragoras. Catalysts are crafted with bitter bugs and honey. Bitterbug honey, then mandragora. So I can only craft 10 anyway. I can only craft 10 additional max potions anyway. So should I just bring catalysts instead of bitter bugs and honey? I don't know. I mean, I bring honey anyway. Yeah, I probably should just bring... For now, I should bring catalysts instead of bitter bugs, maybe? Um... And then bring... Catalyst. Ah, oh, you can only carry five, that's why. Okay. That's a good reason. Because with this, I could theoretically bring 10. Except I lose out on honey if I craft mega potions. But if I'm crafting mega potions anyway, I can collect honey. Yeah, sure. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. I'm not using the max potions anyway, so. More quest rewards. Defender and weakener. Sure. I'll try with this setup. Hope I don't get completely demolished because I have no idea how this monster hunt goes. I have no idea what this guy does. At the tail end of a reckless battle, two beasts find themselves in a place they don't belong. And when the master of this land appears, not even the mightiest attack. But it's. It's not the master of this land. With its right? Strength, it pummels and pins down its prey. Its endless anger fills the air in the form of a deafening roar as it prepares to feast without leaving a single bone. Shagaru Mangala. That looks like it's going to be annoying. But. Better habits, instead of just using the lance. Getting some variety. Shouldn't have grabbed those last two. Kinda wanna go punch that Espinus. Actually, yes, that's what I can do. I can grab the... Uh, in the next zone... I can grab the Stink Mink, then draw the Espinus over to the Shigaru Magala. And get some damage in, but... First... Red wire bug in the north. And I think that's the only one I can see. So I'll grab the stink mink. Grab the red wire bug in zone 6. Then grab the espinus. Espinas? I don't know the pronunciation. Pull the espinas over. And get a slight advantage on the start. I mean, it's going to be a lot of damage, and hopefully the poison triggers, hopefully paralysis, fire, all that. I wonder if it's the best... I mean, other than, like, actually strong Elder Dragons. I kind of wonder if it's one of the better options for picking a fight because of poison and fire being applied reasonably reliably okay now I can start this stink mink please don't catch me in a roar thank you now I need to actually get my setup over here I should probably use Mega Demon Drug. Oh. Instant Paralysis. Hmm. 
Mann. Shigar Magala, hello. This music is pretty good. Who is suffering from an ailment? And then it should do the fireball that should light it on fire and poison it and paralyze it. Yeah, I can't see what's happening. I want to go for the tail. Careful, it's about to roar. Yep. I seem to play safe. Oh, and its side explodes. Good to know. Okay, roll under. For safety. I want to switch to Axe for the step forward, because the big step is actually helpful. I'm missing both because it's just vertical attacks. Okay, so Body Slam. Explosions. Explosions. Okay, I can't see what's happening. Bad idea. And that was just unfortunate timing, I'm gonna be honest. I need to attack a bunch now. Yep, body slam. I want to clear the frenzy. Though actually I don't need to worry too much in this scenario. Because if I don't clear the frenzy, it's not the end of the world. Because... I have a lot of healing from... The hunting horn. Or a lot of potential healing. Not reliable healing, but... Potential. Body slam. Okay, that was not what that looked like. Oh no, it's leaving. I'm gonna get frenzied for sure. I assume Nullberry doesn't cleanse it. It didn't, or it was timed poorly. I love that Shigaru Magala is too long, so they just have to call it S Magala. What's that noise? Okay, that's the frenzy. They just have to give it an audio cue so that you don't have to see it. Despite the fact that it's very visible on the top of your screen. Isn't this... No. Clearing the Frenzy gives extra affinity. If you don't clear it, you don't get free affinity. I'm 
humans could I assume it has a tail cut. That was lucky. Something broke and that stopped me from getting body slammed. I don't know if I should do this on the tail. Okay. I shouldn't because I'm on the wrong setup. Okay, good tail cut. You know, the lance is pretty safe, but being able to roll a lot is also pretty safe. That should have probably stuck me on its wing instead, but I'm glad it got the head. Please stand up. And it just wore out the amp. Just you wait. I shouldn't reload it. I, for I forgot about that. I'm not good enough to keep track of that. Seems, seems like an explosion. Oh, no, it's just in the air when it's roaring. Ah. Oh. Interesting attack. Only does it once, maybe? It's asleep. That's good. Uh, sharpen. I like this monster. This is fun. I'm doing, it's probably not worth carving this before attacking, because he's going to leave, but... And he might wake up before I finish carving. Okay, I don't know what to... I mean, face is always a safe choice. Okay. A great place to put that. I missed the bombs. Okay, let's just try to sit around the bomb, see if it runs into them to explode. Come on, run here, please. Or it just triggers it with a missile. Oh, okay, I was kind of hoping the wall would help. Okay, I'm not going to be able to clear this frenzy, probably. Maybe... Maybe the Frenzy's clearable more... It's leaving. Okay, can Nullberries clear this? I assume not, but... Oh, it reduces it. It doesn't... Does it have it? Does it cut it in half? Yeah, it just cuts in half. That's cool. Okay, so that's workable. I can work with that as a mechanic. That's a cool mechanic. It doesn't clear it, but it lets you get more time before it triggers. Not quite sharp enough. Great. Fight me. Figured it would roar. I wonder what the best way to trigger this is. Okay, I just think it's move, I guess. Like, I wonder if wild swings is the best way to do it. Like, just hit it a bunch with this. Thanks for the support. Oh, I triggered it, good. Bad positioning. Body check. I rolled in the wrong direction, but because of Eight Extender 3, I'm fine. Idea what this is. Okay, you can probably just dive into it and be fine. Like to the side of where its beam starts, 
and then in for safety. Heals me for free, but please handle things here, okay? Brace yourself! Laser. And this is not hitting somehow. Sorry to keep you waiting. I guess I should eat some null berries real quick. I just want to get as many hits in as I can. This seems like the best way to get hits in. I need to not get hit though, because this is still an aggressive Espinus. I should take this chance to get sword hits in though. I want to sharpen. Yeah, this guy seems kind of chill, honestly. Like, not that bad. With Evade Extender 3. I think Evade Extender 3 might be just a bit much. Overall. But he could have another phase, that's always possible. And all the free healing definitely helps from followers. Get up please so I can... Okay, no, that takes eight years to stand up. Laser, so go in. Oh, okay, he actually does aim it downwards into himself. Good to know. But that's actually a scenario where I probably should have used a... Um... Thingamabob? A max potion? I probably should have used a max potion there. Yeah, it's still, like, it's not that bad. It's cool, but Evade Extender kind of makes it so you can just roll pa uh, away from everything. And, like, obviously, a lot of it is optimization eventually, as opposed to just being able to beat it at all, but... Body Slam... Like, just beating the enemy is not the main challenge. Beating it quickly and farming it is part of it. Okay. That should have hit me. Kind of did that for positioning sake. That should have hit me. What? Failure is not an option. 
Depends on a sharpen. Gotta keep max sharpness where available. Body slam? Yep. That was actually... That felt like the input was in the wrong direction. Yep. Uh, great timing on that max potion. I get free healed to almost full HP. Pretty chill. Where am I? Okay. That was fun though. Oh, I haven't checked Basil Goose armor. I wonder what the next hunts are going to be. I wonder if Tailstra is going to be in the next tier. I wonder if it's going to be there's going to be a Shigaru plus Gore Magala hunt in the next tier. Eat. Stop sharpening. Eat. Doesn't matter that fight's over, but like... You think evade extender extends the evade a little bit too much. Or maybe it always does this and that's just how it works, but... There were so many evades where I evaded in the wrong direction, but I just needed to evade again and I was fine. Cutscene. <laughs> the helmet's so funny. This is so overly guarded. He's the exact type of thing that would be a villain. He's the exact visual design of a villain character. These creatures consume life. I'm pretty sure most creatures consume life. Like, that's kind of what animals do. And Fungus consumed, well, fungus consumes dead things that had life in them, but. Ye gods. The abomination. Just kind of a silly line to go with. Ooh, a mantle already. Mantles are relatively rare. So it's 1500 points pretty much every hunt. Like, over a thousand Kamara points every hunt. I need to see the points to uh, Nongo ticket ratio. Add a report. They attack Nanjana. Perhaps we said about resident clothes and I'll talk. Certainly a new level of activity. Is it because they are without a host? Anjana, they're no snack. But why now? What's got them all so... All stirred up. They're surviving autonomously now. They found a new host. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot that first idea down. If they didn't need a host to survive, and they didn't need a Malzano. Second idea is more plausible, but then who's the new host? Surely not another Malzano. There'd be another crater if that were the case. And there's no reports of the sort. Exactly. The crater that wrecked the capital and the one that opened up here were both due to Malzano. So if no one's reporting a gigantic hole in their backyard, there's no new Malzeno. Which implies there's only one Malzeno. So how do we have Malzeno armor? We don't. Keep a close eye on the Curio's movements. I'll mobilize a team. Keep handling quests. Okay. Lots of people to talk to. I'll talk to her first because I want to see what the new options will be. So Kyrie are going around attacking monsters. I knew they were active, but I didn't realize they'd literally suck the life out of a monster. Despite the curious behavior and gross face, we will triumph. 
please? What do I have? Oh, Camellios, Kushaladora, Teostra. And after you do two of these three, I guess it's Camellios and Teostra. Because I want Teostra for gear. And I don't really like Kushaladora. I don't like Camellios either, but this one's just boring. I'll have to hunt it eventually anyway, so it's not really an issue, but... One quest there, one quest there, one quest there. Every meow and then, unforgettable. Same thing happened with meowsters. Pyre, Rock, Nukadaki. They want to see it again. I also have to capture a Pyre, Rock, Nukadaki. He has another quest. So they have a particular basil goose to capture, but it's just a basil goose. It's not a specific one. And this is going to be a quest for more dongo. Did you know there's a bunny dongo that transforms the bonds with your buddies into power? Shigaru Magala and Rathian. Not Rathian, I'm dumb. Um... My brain is asleep. No reason for my brain to be asleep. Rajang. Rajang. Or Rajang. I don't know the pronunciation. Oh, okay. Weapon improvement. So that's that long sword that I got eight centuries ago, maybe? Oh, Kamara has another quest. Another Espinus. I don't like Espinus. So it's just not... Interesting. I mean, this has to be from her, yeah. That evade extender, increasing that evasion is awkward. Is a Message from some trading friends. They've been attacked. We will go help. Very yeah, so like I'll do that eventually anyway, so... Yeah, the evade extender applying to wire bug evasion things like that is funny. Uh, this is not new. Okay. I should really stop. But I want to keep going. But I don't want it to go for three hours. Three hours is way too long. And if I did another tier of the master rank, it would take three hours total, probably. So let's spend some time checking gear. Or I'll spend some time. Switch Axe has been pretty fun. I've been enjoying using it. I don't remember what I just hunted. Ah, yes, Shigar Magala, which might have a new tree. I like the scythe aesthetic. It's it's always fun. Ooh, what does the purifier drop from? So this is 300 attack, 42 dragon, 30 affinity. So I'm going to assume that this one here is maybe going to have higher raw attack, but doesn't have as much dragon element. So it's going to be like 330, and this one's 300, but 42, and it's going to be 330, 22. I don't know. Uh, Camellias? Because I have a Volstrax tail. Oh, I'm going to have to grind Volstrax for that type of stuff, aren't I? A lot of these chains are going to need this tier, and this tier needs Volstrax components to then get this tier. I like that. I can agree with that. This Malzeno one is 320, 27, 0. But the four, the level 4 slot is really good. Um, Shigaru Magala, Shigaru Magala. It's all dragon. It's all just dragon, which is not that meaningful. I don't need that right now. So, I guess it's armor time. Right, Arc is Basil Goose? No, that's not Basil Goose. Ah, that's Shigar Magala. Basil Goose is down here. I didn't read because I wasn't checking, but... 
I kind of like it. I like the helmet. The helmet's kind of cute. The, like, monster face. Very funny. Um... Okay, three, one, two, two, three. Pretty decent decoration slots. I definitely need to consider artillery. Like 30% better for charge blade attacks is a lot. So I really need to consider artillery at some point. I mean, that full set wouldn't be that bad for... I don't think that would be that bad. Making the full Basil Goose set just for a Charge Blade? Like, more Charge Blade files. Agitator's not bad. I don't know how good it is, but it's not bad. Guard up. I can block more stuff. Guard up. I can block more stuff. Razor Sharp. Keeps it from losing sharpness. Like, it's not bad. I lose out on Critical Eye, for sure. But I could slot in, or with this set, I could easily get at least two, four levels of Critical Eye. And I don't know about the level three slots. I could get six levels of Critical Eye easy. I don't know about the decorations. I don't know what the... Yeah, I don't know higher tier affinity decorations. I lose critical boosts, that's not ideal, but it's not the end of the world. It's actually probably especially not bad. And with And with Agitator, it gives 15% affinity, which is a lot. 20 attack. I mean that could be fun. It's a single set, which is less interesting than mixing and matching, but making that set for a charge blade would not be bad. It might even be good for a, uh, actually it might even be better for a gun lance, because gun lances, if you're focused on shelling with a gun lance, you don't benefit from, like the, the shells don't, I don't know if the shells crit. The shells don't apply elements. That's something I know for sure. That could be fun. Okay, I need more Cortexes. So, I would need four more shards. Four shards. Four more hard claws, which is probably a couple hunts. Um, one, two, seven, eight. Four more cortexes. A mantle, a fell wing. And it wouldn't be that bad, honestly. It would probably only be a few more kills, and I could make the full set. And it would be kind of fun to collect. I won't do that right now, obviously. But that hunt was pretty relaxed, honestly. Like, it's easy to hit with the uh, weapon. Oh, and I only need one more pure dragon blood, which means I probably got it from Shigaru Magala. It probably gave me one. What has the wings? Those wings are funny because they jiggle and they don't in a way that doesn't make any real sense. Like they move way too much. And that's funny to me. Okay, bloodlust. While infected, further boost to effect received. Upon recovery, further increase duration of increased affinity. So with the effects of Frenzy Virus, health is gradually reduced, but you gain a variety of effects. Frenzy Virus occurs regularly when in combat. Does that mean you just get afflicted with it whenever? That seems pretty interesting. Attack and evasion increase on stamina use reduced. On recovery, red vital vitality gauge is restored and affinity increases. While infected, further boosts to effect 
gifts received upon recovery further increase to affinity temporarily enhances attacks after recovering from blights and abnormal statuses so you have bloodlust and coalesce coalescence so once you successfully recover you get an increased duration with further increased affinity and you get 18 attack four elemental attack power and 15 status build up that's pretty cool it's a it's a self synergistic set which is really fun and resuscitate you get afflicted with this you also get 20 attack once you clear it you get 18 attack and then critical element so you get critical that's cool i like that set that set's fun it's not useful with what i have right now but it's cool i like that that's fun these sets are so much more interesting than high rank or low rank it's wonderful there's actually interesting effects there's some high rank ones that are interesting but like these sets seem like okay bloodlust coalesce bloodlust coalescence coalescence bloodlust you get four of the five pieces and you get that combo between bloodlust and coalescence or you can get all five and you also get resuscitate to level three i like, guess really cool i like these self like sets that are synergistic within themselves are really way more interesting now level five handicraft is kind of neat yeah, that's, that's really fun. I love that. What does layered armor cost? I don't... Okay, so it's outfit, vouchers, and pieces of the monster. It's not cheap. You, ha you have to consume full sets. Do I only have access to high rank layered armor? You don't have the... I don't get access to the... Um, Sunbreak ones yet, it seems. Which is fine. That one's funny, too. Not as funny as the Master Rank one. The Master Rank one I actually much prefer. This one has the uh, shells on the armor that match with the tail and head, but... I kind of prefer this. Overly complex. There's just too much going on, and I find that funny. The, the overly busy set is much funnier to me and like only being able to see the bottom of the mouth instead of seeing nothing is funny <laughs> oh this armor is so funny to me <laughs> i'm gonna stop soon I, I i should just stop yeah i think eventually i might try to make this full set and this full set those could be fun to farm and use occasionally because bloodlust seems interesting. It really does. Like, it seems like an interesting effect to work with. Like, bloodlust with coalescence and resuscitate. Just those three all synergize, and it's fun. But no weapons. Unless there's a charge blade I can make. But no, because it's always more expensive to make a charge blade than an insect glaive, for example. I do need to grind weapons. I really do. That was fun. That was a great time. I'm going to continue going Witch Axe for a while, probably. Rampage, ramp up, ugh. Worm Stake and Raging. Attacking in Demon Mode increases affinity, but also doubles sharpness degradation. Raises the Worm Stake Cannon's damage level by one and extends the duration of Eruption Cannon boosts. Interesting. I like these super specific. I mean, I should absolutely have that equipped if it was possible. Which I think it isn't. I think this only has a level 1 rampage. Yeah, only have level 1, so it's worthless. It's not worth even crafting. Yeah, I'll stop here. I'm probably not going to get through more than one urgent quest next time either, because these urgent these quests have taken longer. It was mostly the first quest. The first quest took like 30 minutes. Why did it take 30 minutes? Because it was Rajang and I used a weak sword and shield, I guess. 
But yeah, next time will probably be Camellios and Teostra. And hopefully, because those are Elder Dragons, they give me what I need. I wanted to check, though. Shigaru Magala. Ooh, weak to poison. But it has low total damage. Classic. Get the 3%. Don't get the 19%. Always happens. It's wonderful. It's very helpful for me. But yeah. I guess if I look real quick, Teostra... I don't know the Master Rank stuff, but it does give Elder Dragon Blood. Which I assume if it gives Elder Dragon Blood, it probably gives... Wait, Shigaru Magala doesn't give the Dragon Blood. What gave me Dragon Blood? Basil Goose? Why did I gain... I gained a pure dragon blood. What from? If none of those that I've hunted drop pure dragon blood today, like I've I hunted a Rajang, a Basil Goose, and a Shigaru Magala. Basil Goose doesn't drop it. Rajang doesn't drop it. Shigaru Magala doesn't drop it. It must drop, one of them must drop it in some context. Because how else would I, I mean, what else would provide that? What else would give me that? I don't know. But I also should do this, not this, this. Check this regularly. Yeah, I'll stop here. It was fun. I'm going to stick with Switch Axe for a little while. I think I'm comfortable enough, broadly, with Charge Blade. I'm maybe comfortable enough with Sword and Shield. Not super comfortable. But I think I'm comfortable enough with the basics. Like, so, I'm comfortable-ish with this. Comfortable with this. Comfortable with this. I should get comfortable with Switch Axe. And then I should maybe consider Hammer, Hunting Horn, Gun Lance dual blade longsword any of those trying to improve with them next realistically it would probably be dual blades entirely because of the silk bind attack that pulls you in and spins in a circle that looks fun but i'm probably going to use it and die a lot is my guess and hammer and hunting horn have the issue of not being able to cut tails and that's annoying to me Gunlance has the issue of not being Lance, kinda. Doesn't have the same, like, counter-focused play. But I haven't used it since this was a good weapon, so... I'll stop here. So, have a nice day. Bye bye